Hi guys, and welcome back to another Heroes and Generals Weapons Review. You guys voted for it, and here it is. It is the Shippanyonya Pistol Machine Gun, or the PPSH-41. Now, oh, wow. What, what, what can I say? Um, this is... <coughs> excuse me. This is a bloody awesome gun. Uh, the 41 it is the designation of the year it was built, which is 1941, and it was used extensively throughout World War II. And uh, even into uh, the Korean War, the Hungarian Revolution War of 1956, the Portuguese Colonial War, the Bay of Pegs invasion, the Pseudo-Indian War, the Vietnam War, the Rhodesian Bush War, the Cambodian Civil War, and the Yugoslavian Wars. Uh, approximately six over six million of these buggers were built um, you can buy these uh, uh, in the United States of course you'll need a federal firearms uh, a, a dealer to sell it to you because it is a full it is a select fire weapon it is a select fire here in H&G you can single shot or uh, fully automatic I don't suggest you ever put it on single shot it, it's pretty much useless in single shot uh, the gun weighs 3.6 Three kilograms or eight pounds without a magazine with the magazine it weighs down near close to 14 pounds uh, the actual length is 843 millimeters or 33.2 inches the barrel length is 269 millimeters or 10.6 inches which means it would be considered a uh, personal defense weapon or a PDW it is a blowback open bolt and it fires this 762 by 25 millimeter Tokoro round uh, the same round I believe as the pistol as the Tokoro pistol right here um, its rate of fire is 900 to over a thousand rounds a minute um, here in H&G uh, I believe the weapon can be modded that's 800 plus the bolt okay so we'll throw the bolt on and we'll throw the trigger on right now that's that's 900 right there with this trigger uh, of course it, it could it, 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 it you know it, it could easily go up so uh, yeah, it does use the SMG uh, uh, upgrades. So if you do have the PPSH, uh, the PPD40, or the PPSH43 like I do, you can swap out the mods for it. Now I found through that be my dogs. Uh, I have found out through a, uh, extensive use of the weapon that uh, it is better off stock, maybe a slight rate of fire increase. Now, of course, the field trigger literally does nothing. It, it, it does nothing. The, the, the stats do not change with the field trigger. Uh, I, um, see, nothing changes. Um, so I don't understand why the field trigger is there. Maybe it's there to help offset something like the heavy spring. Um, of course, it does only have one barrel choice, one sight choice, and a whole slew of custom camos. Now, Again, I am doing this review without the weapon fully maxed out. Now, the reason why is simply because every time I've ever gotten my hands on the PPSH-41, it has either been stock or it has had a slight rate of fire increase, i.e. it has had either the light and bolt or the light and spring. Now, I purposely, personally go with the spring over the bolt. As you can see why the bolt does give you that rate of fire increase. You've got that close quarters punch but look at the range drop off. Oh my god. It that 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 is just poison. But you know what? We're for for, for squits and giggles. You know, I'm I'm gonna leave them all on. I'm gonna add the trigger and whatnot. Like what I usually have on the PPSH 43. So now, um how do I feel about the gun? Um it's a fun weapon to use. Um the sights are actually quite clear compared to the PPD. Uh the, it, 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 in all honesty, in clarity of sight picture, it would go PPD-40, PPSH-41, and then the PPSH-43. I think the 43 sight picture is a lot clearer for 25 to 50 meters, which is what the weapon it was primarily aimed at, at doing, um, similar to the PPSH-41. However, the PPD-40 sights are just terrible. Just terrible, 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 terrible. They're terrible. Trust me, they're just terrible. You don't want them. Now. Let's move on to the do's with the weapon. Um, pretty much, uh, don't be afraid to spray and pray. You've got 71 mount rounds in that magazine. That is enough to drop at least three, maybe four soldiers that even if they're running heavy set silver or gold, you will still drop them. Uh, most importantly, um, 
it, 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 it's a wonderful weapon. It, it, I think that the weapon, um, it, the weapon to me just seems to be lacking something. Um, I don't know quite what it is that it's lacking, but it's just to me it's lacking that that something. I don't know what, but it's just lacking something to me. Um, I couldn't. Put, I can't put my finger on it, but but I'm pretty sure. I mean, you, you could even look at the different types of ammunition you can use. Again, I, I don't suggest that you try to use you know any other particular type of ammo. Now, sorry about that, guys. Um, now, another thing that I I do. Uh, greatly enjoy um, it, it, it about this weapon in particular is you can actually pair it with other main weapons as you can see I have it paired with my SVT-40 um, you could also pair it with a Mosin again if you have the Mosin again I as you can see do not have the Mosin again unlocked uh, now the reason why I don't have the Mosin again unlocked was because I was waiting to get the PPSH-41 now that I do own it Trust me, I will be getting the Mosin the Gant rifle and I will be specking her out for rate of fire and, and it, it, it's going to be fun. That's all I need to say until I can get her set up to be a nail driver. So now, uh, builds, what can you do? Uh, pretty much just throw whatever at the wall, let it stick where it lies. That's what you can do with this gun. As you can see, I have gone with the Ubiquitous Fast Reload and Hoarder Gold. Now, the reason why I went with Hoarder Gold is because Hoarder Gold gives you three extra rounds. Now, what you need to do in order to get the PPSH-41 to be a two primary weapon build is you must reduce your ammunition count to one magazine. As you can see here, one, zero pouches, only 71 rounds, the drum that comes with the weapon. Now. Hoarder, Hoarder Gold kicks in, which means I've basically gotten a free point. I have applied that free point to my SVD. Now, I'm using my SVD uh, as a 100 meter to 150 meter uh, 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 plinker weapon. You know, I, I see a recon, you know, not looking at me, I'll, I'll pop pot shots. If I see a, a, a paratrooper on a roof, or, or even if I just see, you know, a tanker hatch peeking, uh, I'll just pop, pop, take a couple of quick shots at him. You know, uh, if I feel that my position, or, or if I want to just go sniper roll, and I'm sitting in a in, in in a house, I don't have to worry about someone rushing me and only having my 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 Tokarev to rely on, uh, because I've got a PPSH 41 to rely on, with plenty of ammunition. Uh, also, you can do a multi roll with this build. With this build, you're doing two rolls: attack and defense. You can attack using the PPSH 41, and then you can defend using the SVT 40. So, it's just a fun build. This is a fun build. It's not meant to, 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 to be a MLG build. So don't think you're gonna go, you know, 100 and zero with this. You're not. You're, you're going to die quite a lot to one-shot kill weapons simply because you just don't run heavy set. There is no heavy set to run. But at the same time, if you're in a squad with some friends who are a, a PTRD squad, and they're worried that they're gonna get uh, 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 rushed by by you know uh, 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 infantry. You've got your PPSH friend to, to defend you. You've got the SVT forty to back up where the PPSH fails at range. This is is what I like to call a perfect blend build. Simply because you're, where you where the PPSH forty one falls off, the SVT forty is perfect for it. And the only way you can get better with the SVT forty is to get them is to have the mosin again um you spec your mosin again up you know with a scope scout two barrel you, you set it up to be a one shot kill so you, you've hit the target you know he's like ah oh, crap you know and they base rush you you switch out to your ppsh spray him down downside to this build you have no anti-tank you have no 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 crowd control what I mean by that is you have no grenades. If you've got that, if you know there's that one pesky paratrooper hiding in the roof on the objective, you can't just, you know, throw a grenade up there, shoo him out, maybe get him onto the roof to have another ally outside pick him off, which is a bit of a downside. But at the same time, 
this build what it lacks in in getting rid of those those hard to kill sons of bitches and we all know who they are those, those, those annoying paratroopers who do like to hide on the roof those annoying recon who, who think oh i'm base rushing and that's another build you could do with this uh, uh i believe recon can get the ppsh 41 yes they can so even if you're a recon you can take the ppsh 41 uh, um and still be effective with it uh, uh again it is an all-round really good gun um, I have no qualms, no no, no downsides to, to using this weapon just yet. Um, but again, guys, I've only played maybe three or four. I think it was five games I played with it. Uh, let me just double check. Uh, one, two, three, four, five games. They were all victories, as you can clearly see. Uh, assault, 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 and two skirmish. Um, so like I said, guys, and this is the crazy thing. This is the crazy thing. Are you ready? My credits... I only paid out maybe a hundred in repairs. Why? It's a stock PPSH. There was no mods on the gun at the time. That, even at stock, even at stock, the weapon is amazing. And, and you know what? I'm, 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 I'm pushing it back to stock. I, I actually had fun with this weapon stock. Um, you just control your trigger, control your rate of fire. Um, I, I, I've seen some people try to use this as a poor man's light, light LMG, um, which L stands for light anyway. So it's uh, an ultra light in LMG because the fact that it's got 71 rounds in that drum magazine, just holy cow. But then again, you understand it is pistol caliber. So you are looking at a, a minimum uh, of four to five shots to kill even at center mass. So if you hit them in the leg, the arm or the leg, you're looking at, you're still looking at five or six shots to kill. I mean, for crying out loud, uh, uh, where is it? Uh, yeah, uh, a Zamorox and a Fireball. Those two, those two guys um, were on the enemy team and I just kept killing them with the stock PPSH and, and they were amazed at, at, at uh, how the weapon does perform in a stock configuration. Now, again, the only thing you could also do add to, to pair, pair off this weapon is you could throw in maybe a H3, um, you know, maybe throw in a grenade and just for shits and giggles, maybe throw in a dagger if you really want to go quiet. And, you know, you could, uh, yeah, you'd have to drop the dagger. So we drop the dagger, we replace Hoarder with Heavy Set. And then we go back to our gun, and then we bump the ammo back up. Bump there. So you're still at your regular ammo, and you and you can still take care of those pesky sons of bitches that hide in the roof, and be able to take care of tanks at the same time. Um, again, it is an interesting build, but again, the build I've been working with and actually having an immense amount of fun with it, it is the dual uh, primary build. So again, you'll need to lower your ammo count to zero, zero pouches. You'll need to replace heavy set with hoarder. And then you're free to grab your mozzie and throw it in there. Uh, that's it guys, that's, that's, you got the SMG for, for, you know, close to middle range and then for middle to range further out, you've got the SVT-40. It's a wonderful wonderful combo wombo I have fun with it of course you want to take ubiquitous motorcycle or Jeep I've still yet to uh, purchase an APC for uh, Igor I'm still having fun with the AAA gas just to shoot down paraplanes and regular planes even though it does bugger all for damage compared to the Germans um, the Germans do the most damage the Americans have the highest fire rate and the Soviets just get pissed on basically with SPAA but anyway guys Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please give the video a like. Please give me a comment down below and a share. And most importantly, guys, please hit that sub button and hit the little gear cog next to it and activate no extra notifications. That way you know when I get a video up, you'll know it's up. And most importantly, when I go live on YouTube Gaming, you will get a notification telling you I've gone live on YouTube Gaming so you can come in, hang out, and ask me questions in real time. Uh, until then, guys, I will end this video with a stay safe, have fun, keep your shows flying, keep your enemies dying. Your Cobra Commander is out, and I will see you sexy bastards in the next one, my friends.